in Hungary. And this is the border. And across here is a canal. Which you can't see yet because of the overgrown. Okay. So come on. So through here. Got grapes. A lot of grapes. And we arrived yesterday. About five PM in the van. Yeah, well, that was a long journey. <laughs> okay, this is the guest house slash smaller house. It's quite dark. This is a pantry. Yeah. This any room could be anything at this point. <laughs> okay, this is the most of the kitchen that I have. Um, yeah. This will eventually be a bedroom, a living room, and a kitchen. So, lots to fit in a small space. Okay. Got pear tree. You got pears? What are these? Peach. Peach tree! <laughs> That's even better than a pear tree because we got a lot of those. Okay, so I'll show you the garage. Okay, this is the garage, and from here you can see berry trees and two barns for animals, which there are none of yet. Okay, and the garage. Again, a lot of empty space. <laughs> okay, and now into the main house, my humble abode. Obviously, when I first looked around, there was a lot of furniture, and it looks bigger now, but very empty. So this is the hallway, a very large hallway, and. Probably have to put some kind of burner in here and then touch up there. And this is the bathroom, which most people will have to duck, but I do not. This house was built for me. And the bathroom. Yeah, with a boiler that I cannot figure out yet. And a lot of different tiles. Okay, and let's go into the living room. Okay, pretty big space. I love these radiators. And you can see outside, there's, there's two layers to everything in this house. I don't even know how you go with these. Okay. Well, you can see outside from here through the window. That's the entrance that we came in from. So I can see while sitting in the living room, who's coming in. Okay. And then <clears throat> we have another arch. Brilliant. Then we have, um, yeah, this is a kitchen. <laughs> so nothing inside, which is fine. Lots to do. And then here is the pantry number two for the main house. So I'm definitely going to need this space. Once you see all the fruit trees outside, I'm going to have to make a lot of jam. Okay, from here you can see the garden. Yeah, we'll go see the garden. And in here, off from the kitchen, is what will be the bedroom, which looks the most like a room at the moment, because luckily we had a mattress. <laughs> so I can't really sleep somewhere. Let's see. 
There's a lot of different sections to the garden, and I'll just show you the main. Okay, so the main section is through here. There's actually a whole bunch of ways you can get to it. But this is the main entrance. And in here, I don't know, there's a series of rooms and an outside toilet and a confusing water system that I apparently need to figure out. So this is the well that I'm keeping covered, obviously, in case a girl from the ring comes out or something equally as creepy. This will be where I grow my stuff, vegetables. I'm not growing dogs. We already had those. This is a fig tree that I'm very excited about. And this is the magic part of the garden. There's so much fruit and things to eat. So grapes here which are ready to eat. The grapes, the grapes go, there's off some across this fence. I think of a bit of love, they'll grow even more. And this is the neighbors. Just look up there. My neighbors are cows. <laughs> yeah, there's no neighbors for a very long time. No human neighbors. <clears throat> okay. So we got more grapes going along here. And then these are pears. Actual pears, not pieces. So we got pear trees all the way down. More pear trees over here. And then there's plum trees at the back. Another peach tree. We've got berries that will grow. Yeah, there's a lot. So as you can see, I have a lot to do in the farm. So this is where I live now. I think this is going to be more grapes and um, peaches here. These were almost ready, not quite soft enough. So cool. And these are plums, also not quite soft enough. There's another plum tree, or maybe two more plum trees. But this one looks older. Oh, this is a plum tree too. And these plums are bigger. Okay, I have a lot of discovering to do, so I have no idea what to do with all this fruit. Another grape tree vine thing. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the next garden. Yeah, and then there's this thing. Mysterious wires coming out the ground in the rain. Gonna need to figure that one out. Rosemary! Yes, my favorite. Jackpot! <laughs> okay, so again, you can get to this garden. A bunch of ways, but we'll go a different way around. This way. This 
guys are just, I love trees again. Not so much fruit trees. Uh, but this was where the previous owner kept chickens. And all this space. And this tree is interesting because I was told what it was in Hungarian, but I don't speak Hungarian yet, so yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure what that will be. If it is a fruit that you can eat, I'm pretty sure she said it's ready in December, so we'll know then. Oh, okay. Is this? Oh, I found an egg. Oh, I should, I should take care of that. <laughs> I, it could have a baby inside. I'm honest. I'm getting way more pets than I asked for with this property. I tell you, okay. So that was just on the ground, so now I'm going to take the egg inside and keep it warm. I don't know what to do with an egg. <laughs> it's a terrible parent. Okay, so more trees to eat from. And then these are barns. <clears throat> Very small barns where pigeons used to live. And not entirely sure. Slash do not want to know what happened to the pigeons. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of smelly in there, so I'm not going to go in. These are more plum trees, so I'm going to have a lot of plum souls coming. And a second barn. This one's bigger. Okay. So this is now another section of garden. And I'll probably keep it all sectioned off just for the ease of the dogs being in different parts and knowing where they are. I'm not sure this section was really used for much. There doesn't seem to be any fruit growing anywhere, just trees. Um, and then we can come through. I think this was maybe used as a compost area previously. So it comes from here. <clears throat> this last little bit. Yeah, there seems to be a compost section over there, which definitely needs work. Like everything else. <laughs> so that's everything. And we're back to the start of the house. This building here is the guest house. We're behind the guest house now. And from here you can see the road coming in. Yep, I think there's a small gate to get back to the front of the house, but that is currently grown over with bushes. So now we have to walk all the way back around. But this is the farmhouse as of today. And today, I think, is the 14th of August, 2019. Let's see what it looks like in a few years. <laughs>